only have twenty three percent left. Ooh, what? I don't know. I think somebody's draining my battery. Hey guys, welcome to another Monday night live mukbang. I know we're a little late, so hopefully you saw our uh, post in our community tab. Does anyone even check that? Do you even know where that is? It shows up somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna lower the light because we're. It's a little bright, bright, bright yeah. Um, so yeah, you guys saw the title of this video. We don't have uh, concrete dinner plans, so you guys are gonna help us decide what we're having tonight. Uh, we're either gonna use Uber Eats or DoorDash. Do, actually, do you even have any of those apps on your phone? You don't use Uber. I use Uber Eats and DoorDash. Oh, you don't. So Uber Eats is its own um, thing. Yeah. So there's an Uber Eats one. Is there another one? Oh, Postmates is the other one. But I only did Uber Eats and DoorDash because those sound like food related stuff. Postmates? When Postmates first started, wasn't it more for like errands and like notary stuff? I think, I think so. Stuff yeah. like that, right? So we're going to get right to it because we need to order it now so the food gets here in time. We're not probably not going to stay our normal hour and a half. Yeah, we're so sorry. We're late. Yeah. So let's uh, say hi to everyone real quick and then we'll get started. Uh, Jan. Hello, I'm here. That, that girl, girl, hi, Life with Monique. Jesse, Purple Orchid Divine, JLo Mouse, uh, Naya Gordon, hey, Ashby finally, yes, finally. welcome. Tiffany BTS, Joanne, awesome. Laura is all good, that's good to hear. Uh, let's see, I am Lolo, hi, I use Grubhub. I don't have Grubhub yet, so maybe that's something I should consider. Hi, Melissa, welcome. BTS, Dombi, hi, welcome. Watching you in the LSU game. You know what, it's a compliment anytime we are competing with sports and you guys decide to watch us. Let's play sports. Sports war. This is two, a... four, wait, one, two, three, four, I declare the war. <laughs> what? What are you putting in your oh. <laughs> Why is this so happening? Fair. We're supposed to order dinner. Are you sidetracked? We're doing a game right now. <laughs> you're letting. How come your hand keeps extending out? Are you allowed to do that? Extend what? As long as our fingers are clasping. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Let's just stop. Time out. Time out. We can't do this. We need to get back. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Nothing's working. Anyways, uh, okay, we'll continue. This yeah, can you do? Uh, Ashley, CP, Nadia, Brenda, welcome everyone. Uh, order Thai. I see a lot of people saying Thai food. Uh, Chantal says, "How are you guys tonight?" I had hot and sour soup. We're good. We're just a little hungry. We're gonna order right now, actually. Um, and then before we get to ordering, let us know these. Answers to these three questions. Please let everyone know where you're from, what's your favorite food, and how did you find us? And yeah, definitely let's shout out this name right here. Ready? Okay. Shout, shout out, out to, to Carly. Carly. Thanks for watching us. We really appreciate it. All right, so which which app do you want me to use? Uber Eats or Just Uber Eats? All right, Uber Eats. So what are so they? So I'm gonna read process? out the options. I'm not gonna show you my phone because you know you might see something you don't want to see. Uh, so yeah, they give you options. I need to change the address first, and we it's set on ASAP because you can time your delivery. Oh no! But as we soon need as a, possible. Uh, but we might need to be a little bit more specific in case they like. Get one. Oh. I've talked about this before. <laughs> Meet at vehicle. No. Deliver to door. Yes. Right? Is that what you normally do? Yeah, I think it's just set on that okay. by default. Who here has done Uber Eats? Okay, so let's see. Here's some here's the zero delivery fee options. There's Charlie's Philly Steaks, Panda Express, China Kitchen, Applebee's, Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, an Italian restaurant and a taco place. What's the next tier? How much is that? Uh, the next tier is just as top eats. There's a burger place. It's ninety nine cents. Sushi place ninety nine cents. Taco place ninety nine cents. But that same taco place was free earlier. 
Palapas tacos. Oh, you're right. Oh no, this one's Fullerton. This one is. Was this also Fullerton? Oh, Anna. Gosh. You're off today. It's the same name. Oh my god. It's not the same name when they write the location there. Well, is there anything you're feeling like? No, I, we're having. Oh yeah, what, yeah. Well, so what should we order, guys? You you guys heard some of the options. Um, ooh, Popeyes. Oh, that's ninety nine cents delivery. Look oh, this. actually, the habit sounds good too. So just start naming stuff. Okay, so there's the habit. There's Popeyes, Panda Express, Applebee's. You, you guys let us know in the in the comments. Palapas. See, the thing is, I think what I remember about Uber Eats is the selection is very limited, no? I feel like I'm going down and I'm just scrolling through the same set, set of restaurants. Jane, there's Ise. It's on here? I totally order Ise. I didn't see it. Ramen? No. Kebab plate? Oh, no, but that's... We could totally walk there. Okay, so those are... Those are the, the choices, choices, right? Yeah. Let's just do three, because then once you start going too many. So, Habit. What was the other one I said? Popeyes. Popeyes. And um, then there was one more. Panda Express. Just do, those, just do those three. Oh, but which three? What, what do you see? Habit, Popeyes, and what was it? Panda. Panda? Okay. Okay, let's keep those. So, you guys vote in the comments. Again, we have Habit Burgers, Popeye's Chicken, or Panda Express. I'm trying to think which one is the shortest delivery time. <laughs> okay, so we have. Well, because we're gonna okay, we're gonna start voting right now. So even if you voted before, just go ahead and vote again with your choice because we're only gonna count right now because we haven't been looking. Okay, so um, we're count from CP and on. So so Panda. Habit. 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 How about I count habit, you count panda? Okay. I count panda? Yes. <laughs> well, only Five, once, two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I feel like I see a lot more pandas. What do you think? I, I count I, I counted like seven and then I stopped because you were way ahead of me already. Uh, I kind of like 14, but okay. I'm pretty sure people voted more than once. Who voted more than once? You'll be banned. Just kidding. Uh, Sheila's like, have it, have it. Jane's like, panda, panda, panda. Have it, panda, have it. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to do panda then, I guess. Okay, sure. So I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to have to find it again. Was that in the free category? Ooh, oh, it might have been. Oh, and it says new options in one minute. Okay, it says 25 to 40 minutes. 25 to 40 minutes? Yeah. For Panda? Is that yeah. usually how long it takes? Yeah. Well, because it's to prep it and then to pick it up and to deliver it. But the food's already made there, so I'm just thinking. Well, the, I don't think they're just like sitting there. So you'll do your order first? You do yours first. Okay, so. Do you ever can't share our screen? Should we should yeah. kind of share? No, no, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Perfect temperature. Build your own plate, two half sides. I think that's what we normally do. Uh, oh, have you seen them do super greens? You've done that, right? What is that? It's just vegetables for the other half of the side, so you don't feel bad eating all chow mein or all fried rice. It's well, sometimes like, I get, oh, instead I of like, like chow mein, I get vegetables. Like half charming, half that. Sometimes I just get all <gasps> that. Really? Dang skinny. Okay. Uh, I ain't gonna do that. Well, fine. I'll do half charming, half super greens. It's not letting me. Oh, choose. Oh, choose the first half side and then choose the second half side. Should I do super greens? Do you, should I? Yeah. It's Monday. Okay. And then choose the first entree. Oh my gosh. There's so many options. Let's read them out real quick. String bean, chicken breast. Kung Lao chicken, grilled teriyaki chicken, Beijing beef, broccoli beef, sweet fire chicken breast, cream cheese rangoon, Shanghai Angus steak, honey walnut shrimp, orange chicken, chicken egg roll, veggie spring roll, mushroom chicken. You know, I just realized we had China buffet yesterday. 
<laughs> oh my god, we just had Chinese Whoops. food yesterday. Uh, Margaret, thank you for voting for Wiener Schnitzel. Oh my god, okay. Now, we'll have to do Wiener Schnitzel in the future. Or because it's a super chat, we could consider it. <laughs> just order from two different places. Can you imagine? Oh my god. That, I mean, that would defeat the purpose of doing half super greens. Okay, I'm going to do orange chicken for my first side. And then I feel like you like Beijing beef. Ooh, I'll uh, do mushroom. No, oh, I don't want two chickens, do I? Well, Margaret, as James still deciding, we will promise we'll do winter since uh, soon. So thank you so much for this super chat. Yeah. But in the meantime, go ahead and watch our Halloween video. Not this past Halloween, but the year before, we actually dressed up as hot dogs and we ordered food at Winter Schnitzel. That was a fun video. So please uh, look for that video. Oh no, the free delivery was only for five minutes. It's, it ran out. Just continue anyways. Well, how much is it now? I don't know, probably like 20 bucks. Okay, uh, we're gonna add, what do you want? Same thing, but then you're gonna do your own size, right? I want half uh, super greens and half white rice. White rice, white steamed rice, okay. And then what sides or what entrees would you like? I get like? two. Yeah. Um, the Shanghai Angus steak. Dang premium. It's good. Beijing I'm going to go back and change too. mine. Ooh, honey walnut shrimp. <laughs> um, and let's do, what What two did you get? I did orange chicken and Beijing beef. Then I'll do string bean chicken. String bean chicken breast. Yeah. Okay. And then let's. Oh, wait, oops, sorry. So, string string chicken best. And then the other one was, sorry, what did you say? Shanghai Angus steak? Yeah. And okay. then um, let's. Should we do a side of the chicken egg roll? Because Jane. Who wanted chicken egg roll? Chicken egg. Ooh, we should have just got the family feast. Uh, veggie spring rolls, chicken egg roll. Two of them? Sure. Why is there sizes for the egg rolls? Oh, I don't know. What was the difference? I don't know. Oh, I think a large is like a family style. Okay, so I'm just doing two of the... Yeah. This is required, though. So small. Small, two. Okay. okay. Anything else? Anything else? So, so far, James got a two entree, so two side guys. entree. He got uh, half chow mein, half vegetables, orange chicken, and Beijing beef. Beijing beef is good. So, mm -hmm. good choices. But they're both deep fried. Um, I got half super greens, half white rice with... Shanghai Angus steak and string bean chicken. And we got, we're getting two chicken egg rolls. And then I see uh, Damdi said cream cheese ragoon and I can't resist. Okay, let's do it. Might as well. Might, Might as, as well, well make the order. Might as well. What's small? How many do you think comes with it? Just get two of them? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's order this biche because. They're going to raise the prices again. We don't need drinks, right? No. Uh, I'll just drink my 15 or 25 minutes. How much? Oh, no, it's zero dollars still. Oh, okay. But we only have five minutes again. That's how they get you. They want you to order within a minute. Shoot. Okay. And then are we going to do any of this? Yeah, let's tip. 10%? Let's see, sir. That's three bucks. Wait, is my new card in or is it the old one? Is it okay to use the old one? Or do I have to use this one? My old one's in here. Switch? No, you can use the I'll one. just use the old one. Because I'm hungry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Estimated latest arrival by 745. Okay. That's a long ass time. Sorry, my language. So let's all keep track of time. If the food doesn't get here before 745, we are not going to. Y'all keep us. Break. Yeah. Keep us distracted with good conversation because I'm like on the cusp of hangriness. Please. Uh, can you do baked spaghetti? Asia, I would do anything right now. Anything? Anything? What? And you said anything? No, never mind. I'll give you 10 momos. Sing first. <laughs> uh, made it on time. Jay Shep, hi. How was work today? You know, it was a Monday. We, um, we have a three-day weekend coming up, so we're just really focused on getting through this week. I'm going to take off my Fitbit because I ain't moving anywhere right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we told you all last week on our live that we're doing a week, weekend trip to San Jose this weekend. So we're looking forward to that. We're actually driving up this time. And Hattie's coming with us. Because we're taking Hattie with us. That would be so much fun. 
he might not like it, but he's going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dan from Boston, Massachusetts is on. Hi, thanks for joining. X Hill Explosion. Hello, welcome. Oh, do we have any snacks? Let's get some combos going. Should we eat the blue cheese one? Because we haven't opened those ones yet. Or should we just finish the pizza one? Well, whatever you want. Can you grab them? You're closer to them. Buy a staff. Um, Monday is Martin Luther King holiday. Take us to your kitchen so we can search for a snack. <laughs> well, that that would actually be a huge undertaking because everything's set up for right here. Uh, we need to think of a different equipment that we can do. So yeah, if you guys are watching the game and you're interested in who's winning, ask Jacqueline. It seems like she's watching. Can we have a Korean barbecue meetup in San Jose? Ashley says. What a uh, Korean barbecue spots are up there, and I'm not hating, but I've heard that the Korean barbecue spots in NorCal are no match to what's down here. So we have this is the pepperoni pizza combos that's already open, and James ate the whole bag pretty much. And then we have this I never had before mm -hmm. Buffalo blue cheese combo. I'm I have no idea. Not sure. Um, if you guys have ever had a combo, like these combo snacks, use a pizza emoji in the chat right now. Uh, got you on my TV and working out. Oh, I love the multitasking, Dulce. A snack will tie you over for the moment. Yes, that's what we need to do. BL, what did you door dash? She door dashed last Friday. Oh. Thai New food. flavor of combos. Yeah, I've never seen this. I love the cheese one. Uh, Ashley says, I lived in LA for two years and KBBQ is exponentially better than NorCal. Well, look at all these pizza emojis. I'm so surprised because I've never heard of combos until I met Mark. Like, I, yeah, I just never heard of it. Which one are we eating? This one? You haven't had combos when you're a kid. I've only had this when I was a kid. Ooh. <laughs> it smells like something you shouldn't eat. It's blue cheesy for sure. It's a stuff full of awesome. Let's see about that. Um, James said that the best Korean barbecue in OC is Mr. BBQ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I with agree. That. They taste better than they smell. Actually, I don't taste it. It tastes like a pretzel. I taste right? more the pretzel part than the filling. You know. Don't deprive yourself, eat both. Oh, we're going to get to the pizza one. Don't you worry. Uh, Dombi says you should try all that barbecue. We've had all that barbecue. That's the one in Irvine. We haven't been there in a long time. Karina, first time hearing about combos. So Ashley, um, we have a very busy schedule, but if for some reason we cross paths, make sure you say hi to us. We're visiting four couples while we're up there. So we're not really we're going to find every meal already. We're not really going for ourselves. No. Like we won't have any downtime for ourselves. One, one though. Oh, so we, we need to figure out what to do that. And I think it's our last night there that we'll um, get to do something. So I don't know. After this, we can decide. Or to go. For sure, the pizza one is so much better. Mm. Mm -hmm. You could actually taste the pizza, that's why. So good. This one, I didn't really taste buffalo or blue cheese. It just yeah. smells like blue cheese. I'm kind of over this one already. I'm dead. Mark eating combos of chopsticks. <laughs> Melissa, you're cracking me up eating the combos of chopsticks. Mm, Jacqueline, we do not work together, no. We're in the similar industry, so we do talk a lot about work, but we don't work at the same place. But we're technically kind of working right now. <laughs> so we are, hey, co-worker. Uh, don't touch me. Oh. Such sexual harassment. Stop it. Yeah? Stop it! Mmm. <laughs> mm. I hope you guys stick around. There's going to be more food. So we just got here. We ordered off of the Uber Eats. We got Panda Express. 
And y'all helped us decide what to order. That was kind of fun. Very spontaneous. We should do it every week, but maybe we need to find a way to show our screen. Mm. Like, some, some of us sync it to the computer. So there is a way. Can, so you could kind of see the screen at the same time. Yeah. Leticia, you're not late for the food, so don't worry. But we, we did just order. But it should be here by 7.45. That's what the app said. Yeah. Rayton, hi, welcome. Uh, Jacqueline, we're both in nonprofit. Mark is so bougie right now, <laughs> as always. I eat cereal with chopsticks. What cereal can you eat with chopsticks? Oh my gosh, I ate a lot of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch without milk, just as oh, it is. Mm, a snack? With chopsticks the other day. I just kept eating. Jane, we had a beer right before we went on live. But she said, where's the beer right now for the combos? It would be good. Oh, combos with beer would be good. Go. I'm kind of glad I drank that beer before because it kind of helped me feel a little full. Uh, so Mark provides um, support services to survivors of domestic violence. And human trafficking. And human trafficking. And then I do marketing for residents in affordable housing communities. Uh, favorite cereal, Melissa asks. Keep them questions coming. It's distracting me from the fact that it's 35 minutes away from 7.45. I, mean, this I need to close this. It smells like socks. This is there. really good to eat. You know what? Like, You don't need to buy the Taco Bell cinnamon twist. Just buy a box of this. It's way cheaper and it tastes, every month. It tastes like it. When have you had the Taco Bell cinnamon twist? Have I had that? I used to get it back in the day. Were they the ones that had the cinnamon chips? Mm -hmm. But that's different. No, no. That's the same thing? Mm -hmm. And then what do you dip it in? You don't dip, you just eat it. Oh, let's go get some. <laughs> mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. cereal box has a face. Does it? Mm -hmm. What? Hmm. <laughs> My favorite cereal growing up is Frosted Flakes. I love Frosted Flakes. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. When I was a kid growing up, I actually liked grape nuts with sliced bananas. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best thing ever. What do grape nuts look like? What's that cereal? They're like just Cluster, not even cluster, but they're just grains of like really hard cereal. Mm. Really hard. Is the box white? Yeah. I think I'm getting it confused with this. There was a skinny bear on one. There was no animals on it. Oh, then see, I don't know. Those four senior citizens. Mm. Melissa likes to make rice crispy treats with cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, that's good. We've had that. Uh, Nadia says, have you guys seen the new Boba ice cream yet? We have. We actually had a friend that was so kind to pick it up for us to try, but we haven't seen her yet. So if you're out there, we need to, we need to set up a time uh, yeah, to get those. If you could have any chef cook for you, who would it be and why? That's a cute one. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Well, this is not my answer. Okay. But I'm curious about Bobby Flay because the show beat Bobby Flay. They always choose him to win. Like, is he that good? Like, or is it rigged? Like, I don't know. Right? Yeah. But I don't think I would choose him as my only choice. Yeah. Well, we ate at his restaurants in Vegas, and they were good. Mm -hmm. We ate at Mesa. I think that was what it's called. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tom. Welcome. What was that? To you? Hello. This is James.
Sure. Oh yeah, no worries, I can do that. You wanted super greens and chow mein, and then you need to remember your slides. Don't tell me yet though. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Thank you so much. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. What happened? Update. No. <laughs> so Panda's system was down. So they only saw that we wanted crab, the ragoons and the egg rolls. That's but it. they knew that there were two entrees there, but they couldn't see it. Oh. So the Uber Eats guy called. He's very friendly, by the way. He was like, oh, could you just tell them what your order was so that they could confirm it? And then they he never passed the phone to them. And then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, it, it popped up in the system. So our food is, should still be on its way, 30 minutes. So thank you, kind Uber gentlemen. Um, sorry if we missed your comments because the, the phone the phone kind of uh, sidetracked us. Uh, let's see. We missed some comments. OK, where should I go? Right. Favorite decadent candy? Uh, like white chocolate. Mm. Mm. I like Reese's Pieces. Uh, hi, Lacey. Welcome. BL says, I had to go eat fresh kimchi because they're saying on and off for snow for the next two weeks. Huh. Also, I had to stock up. Oh. Stay, stay warm. Dan eats cereal dry. Melissa says, shut up. Grape nuts, I forgot about those. We ate those with hot brown sugar. High five, because not everyone knows what grape nuts are. <laughs> but they're so good because they're so hard and crunchy that they don't get soggy fast in milk. So then mm. it retains that crunch Crunch texture. Mm. And with the sliced bananas, great just, just, just the position between the crunchiness and the uh, soft texture of bananas. Can we do a quick poll? We won't say what we do. Okay. Do you guys pour your milk in first, then the cereal, or cereal, then milk? Oh, good question. Uh, BTS says, Mark, Oppa, are your parents in Korea? Have you guys been to Korea together? And has James met your parents? Uh, we haven't been to Korea together. Mm -mm. But we plan to, hopefully, in 2021. Yeah. We tried to squeeze it in this year. Yeah, there's no way, though. But there's no way we could squeeze in this year. We're just going to eat kimchi and pretend we're there until we get there and listen to K-pop. Uh, grape nuts, that's like a natural laxative for me. Okay, Jenna, that's fine. That's good for you, though, right? Is fibrous? I would assume so. Because there's a lot of fiber. Uh, Lacey's favorite cereal is cornflakes with bananas. It's still so yummy. Mm. Yeah, banana is the best in cereal. Yeah. But I wouldn't eat it with like frosted flakes. No, 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 no. It I wouldn't would, really serve it. Like it was sweet there. and sweet. Mm -hmm. But you know how some people like to eat chocolate covered bananas? Would they like to eat cocoa puffs with sliced bananas? I never done it before, but would people do that? I don't know. I don't I would have never thought to add bananas to the cocoa one. Yeah. But chocolate bananas is a thing. Yeah. Uh James, name one of your favorite thing that marks Mark cooks. I mean, recently he's been just anything. Just get him in the kitchen and I will eat it. But, oh, he, a while back he used to make this really good chimichurri sauce that I've been asking him to make like a thousand times and he's not remembering to make it. I did it not that long ago. It's that good. Did you use anchovies? Mm -hmm. oh, so good. Uh, where's the beers? We're trying, it's 2020. We got to fit into these tuxedos <coughs> next month. I'm not feeling cute. I've actually, it's going to get real right now. I've not been feeling cute in any Instagram stories and any photos and nothing. So I'm just like, I need to, you know. You have to be more committed. What happened to your short uh, inspiration that you had earlier this week? Like yesterday? Week? What, what, what inspiration? No, you're like, ooh, I, um, 
like you're doing good. You said you lost like two pounds on this case. Oh no, I, I think uh, it, that, that's two different things. One is the actual like uh, number, but then actually feeling it. I'm not feeling that uh, confident right now. You know how you just, it's normal. I think like when people have like waves on like, oh, they feel good. And then right now I'm not feeling that cute. I, I'd rather just look like this right now. Here, I'll just do this. Can you keep reading the comments? Oh, and if you guys just got here, our food's on the way, so don't leave yet. Our food's coming. The Uber driver called. You're skipping through all these calls. I don't know what you're doing right now. Well, oh, because everyone's doing the poll right now. Uh, let's see. A lot, a lot of people do cereal first. Cereal first. Cereal first. Cereal, milk last, which is the same as cereal first. Yeah. Cereal then milk. So no. Who does milk first then? Let's ask that question. Have you tried ta Tim Tam biscuits from Australia? Yes! Wait, hold on. Is that the chocolate covered like wafer cookies? Yes! <laughs> they sell that at Target now. Do they not before? I don't think, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um. Peak oh, does. and the BTS does milk first. Because I like it crunchy, not soggy. Yeah. Hi, Tracy. Welcome. And if you guys are new to our chat, make sure you guys answer these three questions. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? And then also make sure you guys thumbs up this video. Um, yeah, we should be getting a lot more thumbs up. Like yeah, where are all the thumbs up? <laughs> Who BTS? Do you know that dance? Uh, Avocado Man says ice cream and cereal, no milk. Oh, that sounds oh, good. Cornflake and and ice cream is really good. Yeah, wait, but you're onto something. Can't you just melt vanilla ice cream and just eat whatever cereal on that? Yeah, you never had a cereal ice cream before. As a, as a topping pet. Well, no, pebble. that's different though than like completely melted ice cream with the cereal on top. That's different. Yeah. That sounds good too. Are we gonna get dessert today? Julie Dam says, Momo Land. Yes, we did. That means the dance wasn't that bad that she, you could recognize it still. I'm. That made my day. <laughs> that made my day. Thank you, Julie. Uh, hello from Tuba City, Arizona. That's a fun place to live. Tuba, Tuba City? Okay, is there anything related to tubas in your city? Oh, I hope there's an annual tuba festival. <laughs> I just don't understand some things you say. Oh, I want some. Thanks for sharing. Karina says, James is me right now. I'm not feeling cute. I keep saying I'll be healthy tomorrow, but it's still not happened. We are 13 days in 2020, but you know what? There's Every day always, is a new day. And there's always 2021. No, I don't even think that. Every day is a new day. I wrote, but there's always still next year, the year after that to start. <laughs> yes, the melted ice cream as ice, uh, as the milk would be delicious. What's a tuba? You don't know what a tuba is and you live in freaking Tuba City? But Dan said LOL and VM. Oh, dang Google search right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Lei Eat says, hi from San Diego. Favorite food is sushi. Found you through Angelina Spicy. Oh, we love. She had jury duty today. I had to call for jury duty. Yeah, I think she got, I think she got dismissed though. Oh, that was, that's good. Um, Nick the Ninja says, hi from Australia in New South Wales. I saw you guys in my recommended. Love you guys. Thank you so much for your oh, support. Nick, how, how are things in Australia right now with the wildfires? I keep seeing updates and I always get sad. Okay, I should stop eating this because we need dinner. Oh yeah, put it away. Um, Melissa says, the town I live in is known for having the world's largest things. Girl, I don't live there. What kind of thing? Me, my body. What are you thinking about? Why are you sitting like this? Why like, not? Like a spider. You're, I'm not you're, a spider. You're like, <laughs> me? 
to stop. <laughs> I'm hangry, and you're not doing anything to make me feel better. I don't think I'm hangry. We had a beer, and we, we ate a lot of combos, and you had cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, Hedu is in the bedroom, I think. Usually when I say his name, he's like curious enough to be like, oh, they said my name, but he's he's not having it. Uh, where I live, we just have cornfields, Iowa. That's what Chantal says. Uh, that would be kind of cool. I've always wanted to run through a cornfield maze. I feel like you'd be scared of doing that. No, nope. But what could happen? Is Get there... lost. You just eat your, all the corn way out. I can't eat that much corn and get out. Uh, Nick the Ninja says, great, but there's lots of fires. Mm. And Yin Chim says, things are very sad in Australia. At the moment, we have lost millions of hectares of land oh, and wow. 500 million wildlife. Oh, so much devastation. No, I saw like a satellite image and like around the perimeter of all of Australia, it was red. Mm. Yeah, from the fires. Did they pinpoint like what? The cause of the fires were? I don't know what or the root the cause, but the, there is a really, it was like a heat wave weather right now. Because mm. it's summertime in Australia right now. Oh, because they're Southern Hemisphere? Yeah. Uh, Lay says, yeah, definitely positive thoughts for Australia. I was close enough to smell the campfire last year. Oof. Now, do you think the Uber driver will remember to get chopsticks for us? That's why I feel like it's interesting that they asked for tip before the service is actually rendered. I know. But there was an option that said, oh, you could tip them after. But I or tip, but then maybe, maybe they want to tip before they will be like, oh, I want to, you know, call them and make sure they got their order right. Yeah. Hmm. That's um that works at wedding. At, at wedding bartenders, even though they already give you your first drink, you make sure you tip them so that the next time you come, they're they they seem to be quicker. Well, sometimes like I don't have small bills, so I'll do like here's a twenty, and this is for the next five times I come back to the bar. They don't mind. Yeah. Uh, Angelina is here. Angelina, we we're just talking about your jury duty. <laughs> I need your like. I just reported. You're disqualified. You don't have to go. I, but I tried going online and it wouldn't let me. It said I still have to call. It, there's no option to stay. Dude, I already served. That is so weird. Oh, head is here. Uh, you guys are my favorite YouTuber. Can I have a shout out? I will make it will make me happy. Well, Nick the Ninja, we've been shouting you out. What is the shout out? You just say shout out to shout you. out. To do that arm oh. gesture. Whoa, why is that so? I, like, mm -mm. I, you got no. me into a dancing mood. That's why. See, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Anyways, but shout out to Nick. Uh, all star places try some Jamaican food, oxtail or jerk chicken with white rice or rice and peas. So, you know what? We are going to San Jose, and one of the first times we had. Was that the first time we had Jamaican food? I had it before. Oh, I don't think I've ever had it. I had jerk chicken before. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. But we, there's a spot up there that we really like, so I wonder if there's a way to squeeze what, in. Was it back the yard? Mm-hmm. Back the yard. Yeah. Barbecue. Um, Alicia says, love you guys. New to your channel. Love your chemistry and your doggy. Also thinking of buying the Ninja. Would love to see more cooking in it. We so, will. yeah, we absolutely will make some more videos of that. Thank you so much for all of your guys' um, positive comments to our Ninja Foodie series. How do you like the editing of the cooking? Because James does a really good job with that. Thank, thanks for making me feel a little bit better. Because, naturally, most of the comments are 90% Mark is a great cook, great cook, great cook. Looks delicious. So it's nice to hear the editing. is Editing ain't that easy, people. That's all I have to say. No, you deserve all the compliments, but it sounds a little it's like someone's little petty. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say bitter, but petty works too. Yeah. I'm actually usually more petty than bitter. Um well and then it did yeah. I'm not say anything else. <laughs> uh all star players says or Jasmine says, love watching you guys. Thank you so much. All star says, love you guys, and thanks for reading my comment. Y'all always 
show love and give shout out to your fans as much as y'all can, unlike some people, but thanks, I appreciate y'all. No, we really appreciate that you guys uh, spend your Monday, Monday evenings with us. Um, even when there's no food here, you're still here. Food will be here in 15 minutes. Let's see if they updated our order. And then who's, should we rock, paper, scissors to see who has to go get the food downstairs? Okay, let's rock, paper, scissors right now. Uh, two out of three? Okay. Okay. Rock, paper, scissor. 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 Ah, okay. okay. Final Ooh. one. Oh, no. Okay. Rock, paper, scissor. Rock, paper, scissor. Ah! Okay, so when the doorbell rings, you need to, you know, go get it. But they're going to ask, are you James? I'm going to say no. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're such a jerk sometimes. You would hate. Like, I would. I don't even know how to check, like, status? the status. Open up the order. Oh. 7.36. Paul Miguel is on his way. Did yeah. tell you his name? 7.36. The, the new ETA is 7.36. Oh, that's sooner. That's six minutes. Yeah. It was $41 for all of that? There must be some, like... Deliver well. I tipped a few bucks too, but you know, no, check the order. Did they double up our order? No, that's how much it costs to eat up. Wait, let me go. Oh, no, now I'm not sure. No, 31 plus service fee plus delivery fee, but then delivery is canceled out plus tip. Yeah. What's the difference between a service fee and delivery fee? One's for service and one's for delivery. Service fee, I think, is just a flat charge that they give to just be able to make money yeah have some kind of whatever but um i've never seen what panda express looks like i'm a bit scared there's no pandas in it yin but yeah this will be your first time to see it then that's cool uh any new songs that you like at the moment mine would be yummy by justin bieber i have not heard of yummy oh is that his new song i think so i thought i saw the music video recently do you rock paper scissors off camera like during the day only we really rock paper scissors only when our nieces and nephews are around, but they're, not usually us. They're really into that game, right? They now. love it. Well, so we went to Vegas and like we had to wait for a table, and we did like a rock paper scissors tournament because it was like a twenty minute wait. But we had to tell them uh, we kind of know your pattern, so you need to change it up. And what did they keep doing first? They like kept doing scissors, paper or like, I don't scissors. Know. They first. kept going in the same order. So if I just wanted to just end it, I I know what to do. <laughs> like don't tell. Here's my confession. A couple of times I'm like, okay, I just want to go on, you know? <laughs> so I just went on purpose. But we did say, hey, girls, like, you know, change up your pattern. And I think something clicked in their head. Yeah. So they try to change it up. And that that's the best part is that they figured it out. Yeah. I love seeing that in kids. Uh, Alicia says, what do you, do you think of all the drama in the mukbang world? Love that you guys just eat. Now, do you really love that we just eat? Or do you want us to, like, I don't know. Throw the bowl of pho on each other. Be like, this isn't pho. Shh. My favorite part in the Ninja Foodie series is the footage when Mark has to touch that little pressure thing. You should make me do it next time. All, all 20 of my chins will come out when I do that. And I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was really far back with the camera during that part. Because I was like, if this if this thing blows, I one of us needs to survive. <laughs> Who's going to take care of Hedy? And Hedy was, like, running away, too. Yeah. Um, I love YouTubers who appreciate their subscribers. That's just so much appreciated. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate all of you guys. Uh, Jamie says, it's because of the new California law for independent contractors and Uber and Lyft. Oh. DoorDash, you can pay $9.99 per month and not pay delivery fees. See, I feel like that's how they're, they're moving towards that direction. Oh, like a subscription fee. Because now everyone's so used to just paying for things. Even if they don't use it, they make money. Like 24-hour fitness and our money. Yeah. Uh, Christina says, any thoughts about the mukbang drama? Well, we didn't really answer it earlier. Do you have any thoughts on it? Um, yeah, I just want... I feel like most dramas happen from just a simple misunderstanding, right? Mm. So I just wish that everyone's misunderstanding could be kind of resolved, uh, resolved in a health in the most healthy way possible. 
No yeah. resentment. There's already a lot of hate and resentment in the world to begin with. We don't need to add to it. Just very, very well said. I, my, my wish is for world peace. I'm also clenching my butt so I don't fart right now. So I'm trying to keep peace too. Uh, do I have any thoughts on the drama? You have a yeah. lot of thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts, but why talk about it? Because this is our channel and we want you guys to just enjoy the content we're putting out. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no food yet. Oh, it's two more minutes. They said 736, the food would be here. So I saw the numbers have been going up. Share this video with all your friends and family. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Uh, well, well, let's recap our order really quick. Okay. So we got we each got a two item combo. Mm -hmm. I got half chow mein, half no 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 no. You confused me. I got half white rice and half steamed vegetables. Yeah, and then my two sides are string bean chicken and Shanghai Ingus steak. Mm. That's a premium ingredient. You wonder why we had forty dollars? You got a premium ingredient. Premium That's for a premium. You know, it's expensive when they have to ask when when it's part of their company policy to say that's going to be an extra blah, 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 because, you know, people have ordered it and they complain. They're like, why is that more? Well, they, you are what you eat. Premium? Hmm. <laughs> um, Where's your? I got half chow mein, half steamed vegetables with orange chicken. Someone always has to get orange chicken. I feel like it's not right if one of the four is not orange chicken. So it's not right. I'm about to sell I thought again. there was no singing segment this week. Oh, you little you your voice is itching for a little solo. You want a solo? You want a solo? Go. And what was my other one? Beijing beef? Yeah. I only get Beijing beef because Mark sang the song like with the Beijing beef song in it one time, and I just stuck in my head. No, it's oh, the, Shanghai beef. No, it's the um the the Olympics? summer Olympics at the closing ceremony, and they had a song called Beijing Beijing Wuhan. Oh, okay, Beijing, so that has nothing Beijing, to do with the Beijing. well. So either case, that singing is why I got the Beijing beef. But That's when it. I first had Beijing beef when it first came out, and you had a bite, you liked it. Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh, it's 7.36 right now. I know. Our doorbell is not ringing. Well, parking's kind of a pain around here. Yeah, sure. um, do you... I need to put, like, paper down. Sure. Okay. Oh, I need... Um, scissors? Scissors. I'll get scissors. Okay. Do you guys see my big butt just right now? I did. Yeah! <laughs> you see it every day. It's a it's a gift. Uh, uh, Alicia says clench butt matters. Hashtag that. What's up, Shell? You love to say hashtag that, but I don't even know if you know what that means. It means the pound sign, okay, on the telephone. No, I know that, but I mean, just even say, have you used the hashtag? <laughs> uh, Angelina asked, no walnut shrimp, which that's what I love James, walnut shrimp. James loves walnut shrimp. I, but the reason I didn't get it was literally the last time I went to Panda, I got walnut shrimp. Oh, you did? So I was like, let's, let's jazz it up. Um, Angelina says, I guess sweet fire chicken, which I think I had before and I didn't mind it at all. I should order that next time. Hey guys, what are we doing? So we are going to do some arts and crafts with picture paper. Don't you feel like you're at an Italian restaurant? It's like, here's the thing to distract you. No, we are, um, uh, I'm we, about to just stand outside and like, find him we uh didn't have time to cook food we normally like to cook live on mondays but we had to meet up with somebody right before coming alive hence we we're kind of late today and so instead we ordered food through uber eats and those that were on at that time voted on which restaurant we're, we're getting our food from and most people voted for panda express and y'all helped us order the food too. I used to love a lot of YouTubers, but I lost interest in so many because they don't show love. <gasps> Let's show Should we love. sing that song? Oh. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, show me love, show me life. 
You don't know the song? I know the song. I don't know how to sing it. Who sings that? Robin? Baby, show me what it's all about. Okay, Miguel, where are you? Oh, no. I'm about to call a manager of Uber Eats. Hello, we're on YouTube Live, and our dinner is supposed to be here per the app. It's at 7.36. What if, he's watch what if he's watching us right now? Really? What if he's a subscriber? And he knew what we ordered. That's what he called. <gasps> that was a prank call. That wasn't even a real thing? No, Miguel's watching us and he knows How what we ordered. How would he watch us? Now you're making me all nervous. So he knew what we ordered, but then when he went, when he went to Panda Express and they, didn't, they, didn't, they only had the egg roll and the cream cheese, I think that was it. I don't understand your conspiracy theory, but I don't like but it. But Miguel, if you're here, we are hungry, so you could uh, get off your phone and just deliver the food. I do have some friends who have this fear that their person, their person delivering the food is just eating their food. There, but, there I mean, was like one of those like twenty twenty type of episodes, and they actually caught people, the drivers eating the food, and then they would confront them and they would deny it, and they're like, "Oh, we have hidden cameras or whatever." Where, where did they get footage of them eating the food? I don't, that's a good question. Because they can't just like put it in their car. I, we know about surveillance. You can't just like release that. No, unless you blur the face out. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I and how can you deny not eating someone's food if you're like... But after they like, oh, we have video footage, and they were like, oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Nine more people until we get to 100 people to see us not get our food yet. This video, I'm about to go back and change it to, we called Uber Eats and they never came. But what was the original? 745. Okay, so fine. 745, we'll, we'll stick with that timeline. But man, let me check the other. Let but Miguel called pretty early when he got to Panda yeah. Express to confirm our order. That was that was like thirty minutes ago. I mean, I'm I'm glad he sounded nice on the phone. He he sounded very apologetic that the system was down. I was like, well, the system being down is not even your fault. So, message from your courier. I've arrived. Do I do I go down? Go oh, down. I, I'll. Uh, hello. Oh, perfect. Uh, you're near the make building? Okay, um, one of us is going to come right out there. Oh, yeah, uh, I'll have him come right into the alleyway. Great, thank you. Yeah, the alley. Food's coming, guys. Thanks for waiting. Oh, um, let's see. Can they staple my drinks to the bag because it's usually me missing? Oh, the drinks, yeah. Happened to me when I was craving Thai tea. Ooh, I ain't about that life. Yeah, it was caught on a ring doorbell camera or something. Okay, that would make sense. So Mark just ran down, got the food. Um, oh, yeah, let's hear Mark's thoughts on Korea food delivery once, once he gets back. Why are some comments deleted? Like, you mean in this live stream or in general, Tracy? Ooh, it's cold outside. Ooh. Yay, it's here. Oh, show the logo. Show the logo. This is a this is a real-time mukbang, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, oh, we have 99 people on. Oh, 90, oh, oh 98. Dark. Oh, I got dark because it's back, right? Yeah, we have to. I'm just going to... I can't... I, the knots, the crazy kind. Oh, yeah. That's just not me. Where's right? the scissors? Right there. Oh. Well, we tipped him, but it's fine. I think our place isn't like super easy to find, so it's okay. Got our sauces, got our crab cheese rangoons, and the egg rolls hopefully are in there. Yes, 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 yes. I'm surprised so many of you guys voted for Panda. I know. I thought I thought a lot more people would be um, Popeyes. Uh, Cosmo Coco. Hi. Was the food on time? It was still considered on time because the original time said seven forty-five. So 
Two minutes ahead of schedule. <gasps> There's no forks or chopsticks. Oh, you need chopsticks. You want me to get chops another set of chopsticks? Well, do you want to use this or the our, our, We got we gonna chopsticks. use the green sriracha ball. I'll get that. What else do I need to grab on the napkins? Um, I have chopsticks. No there. napkins either? We're not savages. <laughs> Miguel's watching. I don't think he's watching. Oh, take the back bet. I don't work here. <laughs> Uh, Melanie does not like Panda. Gina's on! Hi, Gina! Hi, Gina! Oh, this is mine. This is yours. Oh, I was supposed to get Sriracha. I get so focused on what I need to get, and then I forget the other stuff. Oh, maybe we only needed one order of the cream cheese long pot. Well, I guess that'll balance because we only got steamed vegetables. And chow mein. Live your life. Here's your napkin. Oh, thank you. That, that, okay. Let's, let's, lay, let's lay it out like we know what we're doing, right? Ooh. So really, the only difference in us eating on a live mukbang with you guys versus if we had panda without you guys here, we would just be sitting in the back. We wouldn't normally eat here. No, we would be sitting at our table. Yeah. Kiss, kiss, 100. Oh, 103. Oh, your lips are extra soft today. I'm just gonna put all in here to make it look mukbang presentation wise, you know. Are the people that requested these still here? I think Jane wanted these, and then Don B wanted those. Oh yeah. Don't you? Don't think I don't remember what people request. But they ain't here right now. Bye. <laughs> so what we got? Yeah, recap real quick. I got uh, half rice, half steamed vegetables, string bean chicken, and Shanghai Angus steak. And I got chow mein, steamed vegetables, Beijing beef, and orange chicken. These are chicken egg rolls. ASMR, this, can you guys hear this? And then these are crab rangoons. I don't even know how to say that word. Rangoons, yeah. I, I love that, like, as soon as the food came, everyone showed up. <laughs> or more people showed up. Perfect timing. Thank you guys for waiting. Are these sauces all the same? Probably. Yeah, yeah forty-one dollars for panda. Might as well go to like Mastros. Where's my New York strip? <laughs> That's like forty dollars, huh? Yeah, I want to say. Is oh, Mastros is even a, a national? Nationwide chain? Roots Chris, I don't know. <laughs> um, but it was kind of cute though. Mm. Because Miguel was the driver, but then Miguel was cute? What? No, 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 no. It was it was cute. Because the I'm assuming Miguel was the guy and he was driving and he, either it was his girlfriend or sister, I don't know, but another girl in the passenger and she passed me the food. Oh, okay. Did the window. But we talked about how like just for fun. Maybe we could do Uber Eats, which would be better than Uber because we could do it together and keep each other company. And one person could just wait in the car and the other person just pick up the food at the like it's just easier, you know? But I'm gonna be on 2020 for eating someone's fries. We're gonna eat their fries. I will eat their fries. I will eat their fries. I'm oh, sorry. When James and I were first dating and we would get like I don't like where the story's going through, like McDonald's or whatever. Wait, and then let me see if I can improve the story. And then like, you know, I'm usually the one driving and then he's holding the food. And in the beginning, like he'll just pick up the fries and only for himself. And then I'm like, hello, I would like to have a fry. And then ever since I made that comment, he's been very intentional with um, giving me some fries after that. But it's not one to one. I will. I will tell you that I'll eat three fries to one fry to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that's how it works. You don't even like French fries that much, so I don't feel that bad. I know, but it's just like if you're eating by yourself, you know, in front of someone else. Like, I don't know. 
You know I'm hungry when that broccoli tastes like the best thing ever. I think their vegetables were different. <laughs> Yen says, enjoy, boys. I'm heading to the gym. <laughs> we need a follow you soon. I'm about to eat this whole chicken egg roll in one bite. All right, I'm going to do chicken egg roll right now. It looks like um, this is what they should do. Because you know when they like blur out people's faces with the like black rectangle? They should put an egg roll instead. It makes it less like threatening. Oh, the shirt it says share one egg roll at a time. Mm. That's a cute idea, but James is so hungry right now that I feel like he's going to bite off my lips. Mm. Can't talk eating. <laughs> Um, I don't think we have Nando's chicken. I've never heard of Nando's chicken. Mm -mm. What is that? No, we don't have Nando's chicken here. Is it like Popeyes? No idea. Uh, Angelina says, Dirk eats the fries, and I'm like, you don't even like fries. <laughs> you're, I mean, you're kind of like that, but you still eat fries. Mm. I tend to give you my fries that I don't eat, huh? But it's always time, a nice treat. Because half the times I, I do that because I feel like you enjoy it so much more than I do. Mm. Mm. Earlier, did they give mustard? Like hot, the yellow mustard? No. Where? At Panda? Mm -hmm. I don't know. In the back, you didn't see any? Because uh -oh. Shell says, I can't share egg rolls because I like mustard with mine. And as soon as you said mustard, I was like, I want that hot mustard now. Oh, that would be good. Mm. The Shanghai steak is not as good as I remember it to be. And that was the premium one? Yeah. Oh, hell no. It used to be bigger chunks, like yeah. more steak pieces, but now it's like ground beef. <laughs> <laughs> Elder, it worked out that you're late today because we just got our food like five minutes ago. We Ubered eats it, eated it, Uber ate it. We Uber eat it. <laughs> and it just arrived. So we are in the zone right now, just eating. Uh, you guys think about having a meet and greet? We have. We did one in 2018, end of the year. We'll do a meet and greet again. Maybe when we hit 20K in June. Oh. That's the goal. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe. Oh, yeah. There might be some of you who think that you've subscribed, but you just happen to see all of our stuff. Subscribe. Tell someone to subscribe. It would mean the world to us. Ask your mailman to subscribe. Nando's is Portuguese chicken. Yeah, we don't have that here. Mm -hmm. Tom says it's super good. Meet and greet in Texas. We have to go to Texas first. <laughs> Wait, Perry Perry Chicken? What's the place in Torrance that we've been to? Mm, I don't know. Do you remember years ago? I want to say we went for like Heather's birthday or something like that when she was living up there or when we hung out with Heather. It was like, it sounded like, like da, 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 chicken, like something, something chicken. We went to a chicken place? Up there? And it might be Portuguese chicken or Peruvian chicken. Oh, that place. I know what you're talking about, but yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> what was it? I don't remember the name. Uh, Angelina will come to our meetup if we do one. That'd be so awesome. Dosa says, imagine having a meet and mukbang every subscriber if it was halfway for everyone. <laughs> Should we just go on tour? <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be so much fun. Oh, you did one of these already? Yeah. Uh, Maria says, can you show us a recipe for beef short ribs? Asian, uh, I'm trying to learn. Asian style? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Do you like that? We like the curry and the soft short ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Cher Rotten says, I kind of wish I could remove both of you and enjoy the meal myself. <laughs> Just because you said that, I'm going to eat faster. Mm -hmm. Tracy is from Fort Drum, New York. We love mm -hmm. tomatoes. Dan says, I've lived at my apartment for three years now and never met the mailman or male woman. Wow. You need to go out and see the sun more often. <laughs> wait, where's wait Fortnite, New York? Fort uh, where's that? Drum. At? I don't know. Um, Kimberly says, "Where will your meetup be? You should come to New York City. We'd love to come to New York. We, I've never been. I was so. born there. What's this meat? Chicken." Oh. <laughs> Why are we feeling like white rice today? Sometimes oh, I, I do like it. I do like chow mein, but sometimes when you eat something that's a lot saucy. of flavor mm -hmm. and saucy, it's so good with just white rice. But it's the most boringest thing. I not a lot of not. I don't think anyone orders white rice at Panda Express. I don't think so either. Yeah. Uh, Dulce made beer can full chicken. Wow. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining us. Do you remember where in New York City you were born? Uh, the specific hospital was, and it was literally called Manhattan Hospital mm -hmm. or Manhattan General Hospital. I don't know. Manhattan something. Um, yeah, it seems like we have a couple of subscribers in New York City. That'd be fun to do something out there. Mm. Uh, Korean style short ribs is what Maria was requesting. Mm. Uh, Dambi came back to redeem herself. We were calling you out. We're like, she requested the ragoons, but she's not here. And then you showed up. So here's the ragoons. We were debating if we should have only gotten one, but if they're here, I'm going to have to eat the fried stuff for sure. Oh, Jane. Thank you. Panda. Cute panda. We need to go see Jane soon. I feel like I'm having some withdrawals. <laughs> Jane withdrawals. After they feel a hundred percent. Yes, go on tour and start with San Diego. That would make sense. You just start that, from the bottom. That, yes, start from the bottom. <clears throat> go back to where we are in Orange County, LA, Ventura, <laughs> Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. Modesto. Modesto? Mmm. <laughs> Fresno. Mm -hmm. We had some earlier subscribers. And oh my god, my fly's down. This is live TV, guys. Tom says, meet and greet in K-Town. Mm. We should hang out in K-Town more. It's so different now than when I grew up going to K-Town. Mm. Like, I feel like I wouldn't recognize any of the spots I used to go to. Dan says, I usually order out before snowstorm. That's probably why it's See, that's a different lifestyle where you have to plan ahead. Right? Oh, for sure. Oh, Angel, I think you're right. You're thinking about Pollo Inca. I think that was the name of the Torrance place. I think you're that right. That makes more sense, think, actually. It wasn't Peri Peri. It was, it was, I think it was, yeah, Pollo Inca. Yeah, that it, makes it sense. No, it was. Because yeah. now yeah. that you said that, the first thing I remember is like a lot of Incan decorations inside the building. There's probably a lot of uh, saltados, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Courtney used to live in Paso Robles. That's another place we haven't visited yet. Wine country. We should be there. We should hit up every wine country. Have you grabbed any of my meat yet? 
I grabbed my bleaching already. Get some orange chicken. Uh, Christina says, current Netflix show or movies? Oh, you're not going to... I'm watching a Korean drama right now. Which I think they all going to get into, but it's actually kind of cute. Uh, what was it called? Rookie Historian? Something like that? It's cute. I'm not watching it at all. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. <laughs> but before that... I don't know why. I didn't really like it, but I, I finished season one. Was this Chinese, I uh, was called like Yangtze Princess or some Adventures of Yangtze Princess. And I think I was inspired to watch it because it was right after we learned how to play Mahjong. Mm. Yeah. Tracy says, Star Wars fans, I wouldn't say we're fans, but. We're gonna go check out the new ride at Disney this week. Meetup, our meetup is this Thursday at Disneyland. If you see us there, say hi. Kimberly, we're in uh, SoCal, Orange County, Disneyland area. Oh, yes. The butter cake and nachos. Oh, my God. It's so it good. It is time for... I would just go there just to get the cake. Mm. Can we try to make our own? That's dangerous. Because you think... Would you be put off by like how much butter is actually in it? Mm. It's called butter cake after all. Mm. No carbs and butter. But then again, we have to think healthy. Like, it's not just yeah. about carbs, it's about your arteries, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've not been to San Luis Obispo. Have we? No, I don't think so. It's not on the way to San Jose, or is it after? We've driven past it. So it's on the way there. If you take a scenic route. Mm. Yeah. I want to say kind of near Lompoc. Where? Lompoc? Lompoc? Mm. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what it's called, though. Yeah, Kimberly, there's lots of Asians in California. I think our county has a huge Asian population. Pretty much Southern California and Northern California. Oh, my God, Northern California. So, uh... Maybe Central California is a place you wouldn't really see a lot of Asians. Which reminds me, is there anyone in the chat that's from Wyoming? Oh, we asked in our last. No one said anything. I don't people. think we have anyone that watches us in Wyoming. Oh, I totally combined reading the um, Courtney's comment and Christina in one line. So it was like, oh, yes, it's right around the butter cake. I was like, what? Because <laughs> I think it scrolled up at the same time mm. I was reading the second line. Maya Malik says, I'm from Wyoming. Okay. I'm really excited, but I don't want to get too excited. So tell me three things about Wyoming, and then I'll believe you. Show us the receipt. Yeah, we need, we need evidence. We believe you, but we don't. No, we believe you. No, I don't. <laughs> so tell me three things and I will be very excited. Something that Jim can't find in Wikipedia. And you have to answer sooner because the longer you go without saying something, the, the less I will trust you. I have trust issues. Where's Woodstocks? Tom's been to Wyoming? Why? Wow. Would we ever go to Cheyenne, Wyoming? Maybe. <laughs> Oregon Trail, did they go through Cheyenne? I feel like that was one of the like things in the game. Probably.
Okay, Maya, we believe you. You don't have to say anything else. Uh, Woodstock's Pizza in San Luis Obispo. Huh? Woodstock pizza? Woodstock's Pizza. Is that like a food recommendation? I'm kind of full. What's so crunchy in yours? It's almost like water chestnuts. Onion. Okay. Raw onion. onions? Or onions in my beef. Okay, so Panda Super Green is not the steamed vegetables that they had before. It actually tastes like garlic. Like, it's this flavor to it. Mmm. Um, Dan, the only place I've been to on the East Coast has been D.C. I have a mushroom. That's good. Mm. I almost got mushroom chicken. What's up, Mia? Glad you're here. We're still eating. We had a late start here. And SC, welcome. Oh, they had a... Tom had a bison burger. Mmm. Oh, that mushroom was good. Which I heard bison... We had bison meat before, right? I don't remember. I think I have. At True Foods, maybe. Uh, Dan's going to D.C. in June. What are you going to do in D.C.? Um, Logan's bok choy lamb says hello. Hi. And Christine Flores says hello. Welcome, guys. If you guys are new to our chat, make sure you guys answer these three questions. While Mark's mid chewing. Where are you from? What's your favorite food? And how did you find us? Thank you guys so much for uh, watching our stream tonight. Uh, we have a good handful of you guys tuning in, even without the food being here at the very beginning. Well, so let us ask you this. Uh, did you have fun choosing what we ordered from Uber Eats? It might be fun to do it like once a month or something. Yeah, if, if people like it, then we'll do it once a month. Thanks, Logan, who says I subscribe. Yeah. Keep subscribing. Keep. Start a wildfire. Keep, keep going. We want to get to 20K by June. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's almost end of January. So as long as we hit a thousand every month, we should be okay. <laughs> right? Not a lot. Is it? Yeah. I feel like we need to do something different, like take off our shirt or something. You always suggest that. Well, we haven't done it before. And are we at 20K? <sighs> Throw some white rice. Mm. Fatima is from Canada. Favorite food is sushi, same as ours. And I found you. I searched up mukbang, and this is what popped up. Now, do you regret it? You can be honest with us. <laughs> um, Angel says I had the corn dog with sugar at the Yes Plaza, and it was bomb. What's the Yes Plaza? We just had that corn dog Saturday. 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 I'm so good at it again. So good. Um, oh, sorry. Tracy says, visit my daughter at the Dallas Cowboys star. Dan's going to tell his mailman to, or male lady to subscribe. Thank you. You, you, don't, you, you don't, don't know who they are. I love watching your channel. My first time catching you guys live. Well, thank you for being here. And uh, this is a good opportunity if you want to ask us any questions. In real time? Yeah, and, uh, and we want to know where you're from, what's your favorite food, and how did you find us? Eun Eunice is an optimist. She says, you shall get to 20K. Uh, in Fire says, hello, hello. Dambi, yeah, we know you're here. Thank you. I seriously love this live stream of Fong. Thank you. We didn't even sing this week. Is that why you like it so much? There, I mean, there is a lot more people on towards the end of the video than normal, but I think you guys like the singing, right? 
Hi, Crystal. Everyone like the video, it will create more traffic. Yes, please do. I was kind of disheartened because literally right after we posted the fall video, the Ninja Foodie episode two, we got three dislikes pretty early on. Usually it happens later, but it happened like instantly. So someone's like lurking out there to make us like, you guys suck. Episode two ratings have been pretty good. So far, the producers have decided to keep us on for another <laughs> episode. And the producers hate you. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Vicky. Mark, what drink are you drinking? Perrier. Water, but watermelon flavor. Mm. Infra says, I love soup. What's your favorite soup? What are some of your favorite boba spots and what drinks do you order there? Oh, I don't really have favorite boba spots, but I do like, recently I've been liking just like milk tea boba and I used to never like that. Or you like sometimes like taro. Yeah, I like taro. Or... Uh, mung bean one. That's good too. You know, back in the day in high school and college, I used to get um, almond milk tea, but I don't get that anymore. Oh, all. I've never seen you get that. Right? Oh. Huh. Let's say hi to Padded Hearts. Oh. How'd you do your font like that? It's so different. Yeah, how did you do that? Yeah, that's <laughs> so cool. Mm, Dan says, I searched for Mukbang when you guys came up. I love pho. Wait, so is it the recent one that we did the other day? That that one? Hmm. So you're really recent. Anna says, I found you two from an old video you guys did with Angelino. Yeah, that was so much fun. It wasn't that old, though. When was it? Like, October-ish? September? October? Mm, November? It was before the fourth quarter of the year, I think. Before October? I think so. I don't really remember. But we had so much fun with Angelina. That was a fun video. Yay, Shell says, I love the pho video. I made some in Instant Pot after you did it. It was awesome. Mm. That's music to our ears. Thank you so much. SC says, from uh, Los Angeles, California. Right Their food is pho. Found you randomly when I punched in mukbang. By the way, loved your pho cooking show. Thank you so much. Also, when people search for mukbang on YouTube, I guess we're on page number six. Like, still, <laughs> like... We're still not, like not the first page, yeah, but still not far behind where we'll, we're forgotten, right? Yeah, so that makes us happy. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> uh, thank you, Anna, for subscribing. And then Corn Rose says, Hello, I found your channel through Angelina Spicy. Ooh. Did Angelina like share a link tonight or something? <laughs> I feel like we're getting a lot of Angelina love tonight. Thank you so much. Let me double check. Mango green tea is the best bubble tea flavor. I can't dispute that. Uh, w119 says, hello, hello, welcome. Danny says, I'm making pho in my Insta pot right now. Awesome. Wow. Let us know how it turns out. Oh, send us photos. Yeah. Have you guys ever tried HelloFresh? I think one time. Is that the Taiwanese? Yeah. No. Oh, wait. The food delivery service or the... No, that's called Meat Fresh. The Taiwanese uh, dessert. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, we done HelloFresh. I actually didn't mind it, but James wanted to cancel it. Why do I get blamed for everything? It's because we didn't eat it fast enough. And so then it didn't make sense to keep it. Is that the one where they left the box in front of our door and then it got stolen? But they gave it, they didn't charge us for it, which I thought their customer service was spot on. I love that. Oh, isn't that great? Because they lost money on that, you know? Yeah, but it's because they make so much that they can afford just to keep your business. I don't know if they make that much, but their number, you know, businesses, if you're just starting off wanting to expand, no matter what you prioritize on customer service, even if it costs you money, mm -hmm. because you want to build that reputation and that loyalty, brand loyalty, right? So it was a win, win, win situation. We, I mean, we kind of lost, but we won because we had to pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, whoever stole it, they must have been like, Super, I mean, I hope that they're just really hungry and they ate the food. And then HelloFresh went because they made us happy. 
which is their goal. Yeah. Yeah. But it still wasn't enough for us to keep it. Yeah. Should we consider three? I think it's part of it is because we're filming mukbangs and we're like, well, it's not super. How do we integrate that? You know? Yeah. I think, didn't we do one or two where we ate it? We thought, oh, let's do a Hello Fresh thing, and then it never really. Or maybe on live. Mm, yeah. Maybe we'll just do it. We'll just do it like two or three, two times a week or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Anna, we're both from. How do you answer where you're from? We're from California. Where are you two from? 714. Where's my girls at? Front, back, da, 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 da. I don't know how the song goes. Do you know what group it is? 712. Oh, okay. <laughs> all of a sudden, I know. I, also I don't think it's obvious. Vegas, so I know 714. Oh, that's their zip code. I mean, an area code. I forgot. See? Where you, so I, I give you 10 momos. Because I knew 702. Okay, as you eat your fortune cookie <laughs> with your fortune Oh my god, inside. if fortune cookies had cream cheese inside, I would totally eat more of them. I want to open up my fortune cookie. Do you, yeah. Do you mind? No, not at all. Keep it going. If we get to 82 likes, I'll open my fortune cookie. Ooh. It's, but we had China Buffet with your family on Saturday or mm -hmm. Sunday, whatever. Yeah. And the cookie that I had did not have a fortune in it. it oh, is that why you're itching to open one? It didn't even have a piece of paper. Mm. It was not bad luck. Someone made that up for it. Or good luck. Okay, we'll say it's good luck. Yeah. Oh, and, one more like. And it's from La Mirada. That's not too far from well, us. That's, yeah, that's super close to us, relatively speaking. Like, you could have been anywhere else in the world. La Mirada is close to us. Where's the 805 area? That's up in, like, Ventura County, mm. right? Mm. Like, Oxnard, I think it's 805. <laughs> Melissa says, my sister-in-law always seems to get the fortune cookies with no fortune in them. Well, it, would you consider her to be lucky or <laughs> unlucky person? <laughs> mm, you're at 82. Oh, okay. Come on, good luck. Hi, Diamond Dave. Ooh, I like that. Welcome. Name. What do you need? That pin? Oh, okay. You should eat one more at least. I ate my three already. Are oh, you not feeling it? I'm full. Okay, I'll see. I'll eat one more. You got a fortune this time at least. I did. Baseline. Okay, let's hear it. What does this mean? I don't know it. I don't know how I feel about this. I guess no. It means a good thing. I guess. Oh, well, let's have everyone decide. But I'm trying to do my near resolution is to be opposite of this. But my fortune cookie is telling me to continue to do this. What is it? It says, "Silence, the critic within." Oh, so like, yeah. So, oh, yeah, you should do that more. <laughs> so it means like whatever like negative thoughts or feelings I have, I should just keep it in. Mm -hmm. Does, is that, it doesn't really mean to hold, it, it, silence could mean to hold it in, but it just means just get rid of all negative thoughts and yeah. things, right? But some of you already know, but sometimes I just don't like to confront people and I am just kind of very you know try to be wait can we back up what so how would anyone know that you don't like to do that we, we talk about it I'm sure we have yeah we won't ever recall I'm sure we have I think people can just assume that you're that oh. way because you're just a nice person but no I'm okay well I'm no I'm I believe in one of our many long lives over four bottles of wine we I feel like we've talked about it at least more than one time, but it could all be in my head. Um, but anyways, I will respect you. Thank you, Fortune Cookie. Mm. 
So were you saying that you're trying to be more vocal? Mm -hmm. And this is telling you not to? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, maybe I should just open mine. I'm still eating this, though. Just keep eating. Let me finish this. I'm not done. Oh, uh, Panda's fortune cookie is so much better than some of the other, like, I don't know, generic brands fortune cookie. Mm. Yeah. I usually don't eat them because they're just like, I feel like they're just calories. Mm. Mm. I love purple cookie. Hi, Wanda. Where were we? And I kept reading the word Wanda and made me think of Wanda. We were looking for a street named Wanda. W oh, yeah. Oh. And then James like, Wanda woo. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll just Did I drop something? Hey, you found something. Try and tell me. He's been laying here the whole time. He could have gotten so many goodies, and then now he decides to come out. Yeah. Mm. In fires to trying to be a comedian. <laughs> I a long name person. I guess was, that could look like a long name. Wanda Wu? Well, because I heard it. It has a wrench too. It's Wanda Wu. Mm. Oh, uh, this is Sandia watermelon. I don't think anyone else told us what they're having for dinner tonight. I think only one person said they're making pho right now. Oh, yeah. So I made pho before maybe they're eating that again. <laughs> um, yeah. We had our last bowl of pho yesterday. For leftovers, yeah. yeah. Mm. Lopa Yuke Jang. Ooh, we haven't had that in a really, really long time. I don't even know when's the last time you had Yuke Jang. Is that raw beef? No. Oh. It's the spice cream, spicy beef soup. I don't remember having that. You probably had a bite of mine here and there. The last time I had it, it's been a while. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever tried beef rolling pin? <gasps> no. <laughs> no. I think oh, we have. have. Yeah. At Bellagio Buffet. Yeah. Mark, you should make that. You get that? Or Probably. beef rolling pin? I would guess, uh, yeah. Uh, you get no, you get John. Beef Wellington, you could make that though. I had Kimari with oh, Kimari. Kimari. You're more Korean than I am. What? I was gonna say, what's Jimmery? <laughs> I was like, I know Dopoki, but Jimmery. I don't even know what Kimari is. Uh, it's the kimbap without it being cut. <laughs> God, kind of close, but. Is seaweed stuffed with the glass noodle inside and it's usually deep fried. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, Jamie had pho tonight. Did uh, we start like a pho trend? Can we take credit for that? Should I just eat the last cream cheese? Only if you're hungry. I'm not hungry. But are we going to throw it away? I don't want to throw it away. So you can have it later. I already ate four. That's a lot. This shirt's really tight right now, guys. Oh, uh, those are these emojis. What are those? Alarms? Siren? Oh, I saw sirens. sirens. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Bring the alarm and I throw it out. Those. Oh, yeah. pastrami. You like pastrami. I do, but I feel like I only like it when I'm in uh, Las Vegas. Do you see me ordering pastrami out here, really? No. But I don't see you ordering in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the few times I've had it, I feel like it's been in Las Vegas. I hate you. Oh my gosh, look but at it. I him. feel like you like corned beef a little bit more. No, I I like pastrami. Isn't pastrami usually cut thinner? They're like kind of the same to me. Are they the same? <laughs> they taste the same to me. You have issues where you think two things are the same. This, this happened with the person once. <laughs> There's always two of one things. Lady Gaga, Madonna. Perrier, 
you know, St. Pellegrino. Oh, see, that that's very similar-ish. Yeah. How about White Claw? What's White Claw? Or truly, truly, yeah. Pepsi, Coke. Sprite, sub it up. And Sierra. <gasps> see, that one, they're trying to be tricky with the third one. Sierra Mist. So, 7-Up out of the three, I would consider is like the... Which is weird because growing up, I feel tier. like 7-Up was the most popular one. I guess you're right. As Sierra kid, Mist wasn't around when we were going. It up. wasn't around. as I was Wait, then I was what did kid. Pepsi have? Did they have some other drink that was like the Sprite, but not Sprite? Sierra Mist wasn't here for this whole time. I want to say they're they're definitely newer, but what? Yeah, what yeah does anyone? Seven up? They just didn't yeah, mark. And he has there was the mask was a red dot with a sunglasses. He had his own video game. Yeah, see, that's how popular Seven Up was. Yeah, Shasta. Well, yeah, Shasta's. I feel like isn't Shasta and RC like lower tier soda? RC cola. It's like Seven Up is grouped up with um, Sunkiss and that other drink. Yeah. There's like three drinks that are in this. Like, if you guys ever bought soda at like the supermarket and you're like, "Oh, I want to buy Coke," but then Coke isn't part of those other Promotion. promotions, so then you can't get those to count towards your three or four that you need to buy to get the discount. Yeah. Coca Sprite, RC Cola, Hola Soy de Chile. Uh, hi, uh, hola, Francis. Uh, como, como estás? Como están? What do you say, están versus estás? When están is for formal. Life. Yeah, oh, okay. Formal. Or oh, sorry, if there's bro. more than one. Mm. Pepsi only had Mountain Dew, so they never had a uh, that drink before Sierra Mist. Until Mister. Sierra Mist. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Crystal Pepsi. It tasted like Pepsi, but it was just clear, right? That's the only thing Crystal Pepsi is, right? Did it taste like Pepsi? I, I thought, thought it did. I thought it was just a sugary carbonated drink, but not necessarily the same flavor as Pepsi. I thought I think it is the same. I, I want to say know. it tastes like Sprite without the lemon lime flavor. I'm not sure. We'll see. Will we? <laughs> Do they sell it anymore? I think, I think they temporarily brought it back for old time's sake, but then they got rid of it again. Yeah. Uh, Cactus Cooler, which as a kid I did like, but then I never really knew, like, oh, it's orange, pineapple, and... There's a third ingredient? Or is it just orange, pineapple? I thought it was just orange, pineapple. Huh. I never liked Cactus Cooler that much, so... What? Yeah. Because you know what? Cool. Like Cactus Cooler. Which is weird because I never really liked Coke growing up until I met you. I never really, I would never order Coke. Yeah. I would get Sprite, 7 Up. Like I would get those. I things. never see you get Sprite. Well, I mean, yeah. now. You just, even just, yeah, you don't But now I don't soda. drink soda. No. You'll drink uh, your. You had that one phase, Spindrift phase. Spindrift, Perrier. I stopped drinking LaCroix because there's all these like bad articles about them. Oh, really? Like in the ingredients or in what the owners do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Shell says, I like squirt and wink. What's wink? Vodka, Ollie's. Oh, really? That's what I took that to mean. It's so obvious to me, at least. Well, isn't wink... Well, squirt is usually with tequila. Oh, that's true. Yes. I mean, well, it's not obvious. Lisa, Lisa, I so mean, like an alcohol. alcohol is out. Well, let, let her speak and we'll see. It was obvious to me, so you can't just say it's obvious. That's like you're not allowed to say common sense anymore because it's not common. I'm the common. No, you're not. SNL did a skit of clear gravy. It was gross. That sounds gross. <laughs> gravy should not be clear. How did they, I mean, it's not real, but there is a thing on BuzzFeed that I saw Stephanie Sue, she also did. It was eating clear foods for 24 hours. 
But then I, I didn't really watch the whole video. Like, what foods are clear that you can eat? I glass know. Noodle. Yeah, so glass noodle, I think, was in the thumbnail. And then someone did rice paper. Oh. But what else can you eat? Name some clear foods, guys. Do you want us to do a clear food? We only eat clear foods in 24 hours challenge. I can't even think of anything. We'd end up eating clear noodle rice like, rolls all day. What am I thinking? Like those gelatin molds? Like jello? Like jello, yeah. Can you eat jello too? Soup? Like clear soup. Oh, soup. I'll totally do soup. Is that that'd be, that'd be clear? my idea. Oh, I guess that's clear. Uh, a jellyfish. That is clear. Do you like jellyfish? I always forget. Especially if it has that mustard or horseradish mm -hmm. or wasabi, whatever it is, that spicy kick to it. Uh, let's see. Sorry, Lise. Uh, you'll watch the playback. We just had Panda Express, so it's all eaten up by now. Um, Shell says Wink is similar to Squirt. I think they are grapefruit type sodas. So not Wink, like... Ha! I get a Momo for that. You're so... You're like, it's so obvious. Wait, what's the timestamp? I'm gonna watch from 1.30 to 1.40 when you're like, squirt and wink. And I was like, what's wink? It's so obby. Well, if nope, let's Shell, find a way you can get out of this one. Well, if Shell was more intuitive, he she meant alcohol. <laughs> he or she, I actually just guess you right now. Uh Francis says, Que gustaría visitar mi país. Would you like to visit my country? Well, we're open to visiting Chile. wherever we can go. Paisa's country? Yeah. Oh. Huh. Remember, I'm the one that speaks better Spanish and reads better Spanish. Than I you. could communicate with Espanol better. It's called body language. <laughs> Your body language is not that great. My body is just great. Please! <laughs> I can't have caffeine anymore, so I have to watch what I drink. That's fair. Oh, it's clear food. Uh, what's Yang Jangpi? Yang Jangpi? Uh, where? That looks Korean. Yang Jangpi. Is that a food? Yang Yang Chang Pi Yang Chang Pi Yang Yang Pi Yang Yang Pi uh, Shell says I'm a she and Mark you are right both are great with tequila and vodka because the vodka squirt I mean the tequila squirt I've heard so many times from friends. Mm. Low Brule says thanks for info about cactus cooler. Did we miss uh? Do you miss what? Uh, oh, Honda, it's a soda. Wanda, it's a soda, but it's never available in Northern California. What so, did we ever. Cactus, Cactus Cooler is not available in Northern California. Should, when we go, should we try to find it? And then, if we find it, we'll take a, a video of ourselves drinking it. Or should we just bring some up there and sell it? <laughs> well, we are driving. We can't. Can you just sell like soda to people? We don't need a license for that. Um, it's like that one person. That this college student would drive like 300 miles each way to pick up like 12 dozens Krispy Kreme donuts or so, well, a lot of boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts, and he'll go back to his place and then sell a dozen of you know Krispy Kreme mm. donuts to make a profit because in that city there's no Krispy Kreme. So when Krispy Kreme caught on. They actually sent him a letter saying you can't do this anymore. Oh. And he posted that letter online and people got all angry. It was like, why are you, you know, stifling this person? Person from... who's is actually being smart and he's not doing anything illegal. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So well, wouldn't the smart thing to do is to like promote the guy and then they get good press or something? Right. Or well, build a place. Now they're trying to do that, but it's a little too, too late, late because how recent was this? Within six months. <sighs> I've never heard of this. Well, because at the the lawyer the lawyer from Christopher Green, the letter says, "Oh, the reason is because we want to represent our food in this best way possible, which is like fresher. So you by doing this, we'll get people like ball. You know, it doesn't fit with their 
marketing message mm-hmm. or whatever. But again, that was a mistake that he did because a lot of people got angry with them. Mm-hmm. So now they're allowing him. Hmm. And he said, I do it to pay for my textbooks and call it tuition. <laughs> yeah. no. I mean, that's a hard, yeah, you can't really make a case against yeah. the person for doing that. Uh, I hope I'm saying your name right. Is it Elise or Ilse? Probably Elise. I'm not sure. Let us know. I'm from Arizona. Favorite food is seafood and found you guys from Korean barbecue video. I even bought the grill. Ooh, awesome. Thank you. you know what's funny is me and Mark were laying in bed yesterday and like we were looking at, I wonder how many people bought the grill from our link. And I think, how many did I say? You said like 15, I don't know, 30? It wasn't 30. 15? It was probably between 10 to 15. Like, we've sold 10 to 15 of those grills. But we only made total, like, 50 cents. No, a dollar. Yeah. By selling 15 grills. We didn't make a dollar. I think we make, like, 250 or $3 off of each of them. Are we allowed to say that? Like, Like, total. That's it? No, it was something else. Well, let's look at the analytics later again. It wasn't just $3 for all the grills we sold. Oh, That's what I thought you said Um, yesterday. Yeah. So I was like, dang, <laughs> it's hard to make a dollar these days. <laughs> well, you can't go to like another place and buy Krispy Kreme. No, we're going to see that with Cactus Cooler now. Let's just do, let's just buy a box and then go to our friends. Be like, would you like to buy a can? <laughs> say what they say. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Can you read what uh, Francis wrote? Uh, Adios si puedes. Poder de Carlo dance mejor para el pinche mundo. My timing is all off. Adios se puedes joderte a Carlo dance mejor so para el pinche goodbye. mundo. I, I can. No, if. Oh, si puede is it? Uh, si puede is if. What's poder? Try? I don't know. I'm sorry, we're going to have to Google well, Translate. What's, what's but... hold, hold there? Hold there <laughs> did. You have to Carlo dance below for pinching the world. Mejor is better, right? Oh, for better, for pinching the world. For, I don't, not pinching, because it's el pinche, so it's a noun of the world. Windows world, right? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we, we got we got caught up and someone translate that for us if possible. Angelina or someone. <laughs> uh, hi, darlings, pearls. Hi. I only got a part of that sentence from Francis. Yeah, I like it a lot. Not sure if it's just pack, bag picked, but they're super packed with the hot Cheetos flavoring. Oh, we're talking about hot Cheetos then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we totally missed that conversation. Yeah, I think so. Well, we actually should wrap up. It's a little bit later than usual. We lost track of time. But it was so much fun hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Uh, next week, a big announcement. We are not going to be on live. I'll post it in our community uh, tab. But because we're going to be out of town, I don't think we'll be able to have a video, a live stream at least. We'll see if we can. If we make it maybe. back somehow, then maybe. <coughs> Or if I have a strong connection on the way back, I don't know. But, but don't for now it's pretty much canceled. Yeah, don't cat don't count your chickens before they hatch. I think just hatch is okay. Do you just try to make hatching right with chicken? You can't do that. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Well, el pinche la mundo. El mundo, es el pinche mundo. Mejor. What'd you call me? <laughs> okay, uh, have a great rest of your week. Make sure you guys check out our latest mukbang, the uh, Ninja Foodie episode two. And we're going to have another episode soon. Yeah, and episode really, three. if we don't go on live next Monday, please just watch some of our other videos. We spent, James spent so much time in editing, so it would mean the world to me. I plucked like 12 white hairs yesterday. It's... From where, though? <laughs> <laughs> Up here! You even saw me! I was like this. And the bad thing is it's the side ones, and I just want you to just offer to um, pluck it for me. 
But then I end up. Can we do that on our next live? Oh, no, no. Yeah, let's do that. That's weird. The f- we no. are showing our lives online. Yeah, but I, there, there's certain things like there's certain things people don't need to see, and I think plucking my white hairs is one of them. Why is that so embarrassing? I don't understand the reaction that you're giving off right now. I'm not. That's true. That myself. one live where we were on seven hours, I farted like five times. So yeah, you're right. I just, I just that I just have certain rules in my mind that I adhere to. And the other one where you burp really loud, and then my face reaction is like, "What video was that?" That was recent too. That was recent, yeah. But someone Dungeon thought. Crap? But someone thought I was the one who was burping and making that face right after. I was like, okay, I'm not a ventriloquist. So I can't make <laughs> sounds if my mouth is closed. Why would you? Who think, said that? Why would you think I burped? I think Kong Chu did. So I had to comment and say it wasn't me. If it you was look, you. If you could look at it, I well, didn't move my mouth. Here's the thing: Mark would never burp on camera, so that's our ear tall tell sign right there. You would never do that. Yeah. You would never burp. You would never fart. So don't pluck. You get more. Is that true? That's what they say. Two will grow in the place of... I mean, is that the same thing as, like, if you swallow watermelon seed, a watermelon is going to grow in your belly? Okay. So then it's the same thing. Then it don't count. They don't count. All right. We're going to leave for real now. But have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Bye.